We'll be performing a blower door test to see just how good of a job we did in sealing up our envelope after the insulation has been installed. Blower door test is when a fan is placed in the enclosure of a door and the rest of the door is sealed off. And a controlled depressurization of the building uh, is performed. So in our case, uh, the fan blew air out of the structure and there is a monitor associated with the, with the blower door mechanism to evaluate uh, what the pressure difference is between the interior and exterior of the structure. Uh, the standard for a blower door test is to depressurize the house to about 50 pascals, which is the equivalent of a 20 mile an hour wind blowing against the structure from all sides. That's sufficient uh, difference in pressure between the interior and exterior to be able to walk around the structure and feel all the, all the cracks and crannies and, and be able to identify where air may be leaking into the building. The air tightness of the building is going to control a lot of things. Now there's this thought by a lot of people that why don't I just build this building leaky enough so that it can be naturally ventilated. That's you know the term that we used to use on buildings. The trouble is when we naturally ventilate a building, that means we're going to get our highest levels of ventilation when it's 10 degrees out and when the wind's blowing at 30 miles an hour. Maybe that's not when you want to have the most fresh air coming into your building. A tight building that has mechanical ventilation is always going to outperform a building that is just leaky enough so that it, it is kind of ventilated. We installed the uh, blower door fan in the door. Next I got to hook my gauge package up. Then I need to run one of the hoses to the outside and the other, so the, in, the outside hose will be used to measure the pressure difference between the inside and the outside. And then a the hose to the fan which will then uh, be able to read off the cubic feet per minute airflow at that 50 pascal pressure difference. So that's the standard for all blower door tests is 50 pascals and it'll allow us to kind of make a comparison from one building to another in terms of air tightness. So an energy auditor certainly should have this because this is a real key it, important issue there. In a lot of homes it's the air leakage that's the primary heat loss component in the building. We're going to start it out with, with uh, the open fan just to see, see what we get here. So what it tells me now is we've got about 50 pascal pressure difference between inside and outside the building. So it's equal to about, again, a 20 mile an hour breeze. Uh, and we're reading right now with this fan configuration about 1600 CFM, uh, which should mean that we should be able to feel some air leaks as we go around the building. Listen up, if you find holes, Use foam or caulk to patch any little holes or cracks. I found a leak right in here because we're using the blower door test and uh, I am spraying foam in there to block any air leaks that I feel in between the window gaps, which is a really crucial spot to get tight. So.